I'll tell you what. If the situation between Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury is absolutely genuine, which I believe it is, I absolutely believe we could be heading into Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder in December. That whole team wants to make it happen. And Eddie Hearn stuck on the sidelines of a major fight that could do massive numbers. And But that's not it. That's not the reason why he's hating on the fight. I'll tell you the reason why he's hating on the fight. He can't fight news. More on this. All right. You already know, man. Eddie Hearn. Yo, it's funny. He can Eddie Hearn out here, he can, pro, he can try and promote his new signing. Because cause you know what? He just signed a new fighter, um, Anthony Sims, Anthony Sims Jr., right? He signed this dude um, to some kind of a deal. Welcome to the team, the D's Nuts, the Dazzin team. And this is what Eddie Hearn had to say. Welcome to the team, Antonio Sims Jr. will make his matchroom boxing debut this Saturday in Cardiff. That's right, he's fighting today uh, sometime in the middle of the day. You know, I don't know how many people are actually going to tune in. If I catch the fight, I catch the fight. But, um, guess, guess what? Guess what they're talking about in the comments section? It ain't about Anthony Sims. It's about Luis Ortiz, Vladimir Klitschko. Let's, let's see what this dude had to say. MRL expense. What have Americans got to do with Brazil being mandatory? Fury beat a prime undefeated Klitschko. Wilder beat a prime, undefeated Luis Ortiz, both better than any Joshua win. Is that facts or not? Both better than any Joshua win. Right? Fury beat a prime. Well, not undefeated. Well, that's a mistake. That's actually a mistake. Fury did not beat an undefeated Vladimir Klitschko. Um, but he beat... You know, it's even hard to say that, that he fought a prime Vladimir Klitschko. He fought a Vladimir Klitschko towards the end of his reign. No doubt about it. But but that's the, that's the more valuable victory. It's not the 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 knock him knock him down, the drag out brawl that Klitschko had with Anthony Joshua. And you know, that was a great fight for uh, as long as it lasted. But there were some boring spots in that fight. There were some, some, you know, if you want, you know, watching a fight live with the intensity, knowing that, you know, there is some kind of heavyweight titles on the line, you know, it, that live intensity plays a huge role into how you interpret the fight. If you watch the fight now, I mean, it's boring until the knockdowns happen, to be honest. To be honest. But, I mean, if you watch... If, if you if you really watch boxing, you may appreciate what Tyson Fury did to Vladimir Klitschko in that first fight more than what Anthony Joshua did to Klitschko. And that that's, you know, to each his own. That's to each his own. But let's get into why Eddie Hearn really hates the idea. He hates the idea of Wilder Fury. I'm going to tell you exactly why. You can't fight. That's right. The real reason why Eddie Hearn doesn't want to see this fight. The real reason he's going to start hating on this fight very soon. Because right now he doesn't believe it. it's going down. Because, of course, the announcement hasn't been made. It's not exactly official. Um, the rumors are it's all but done. That's according to Frank Warren and Shelly Fink. Right, so that's good news on both sides. The lead promoter of Tyson Fury and the co-manager of Deontay Wilder, right? That's great news all, all the way around. But you, but you know the funny part about it? Sky Sports is going to be interested in reporting on this news. BT Sport is going to be Frank Warren's main network. It's not going to be Sky Sports. Sky Sports is going to miss out. On a Deontay Wilder fight. A fight that they... They've been promoting Deontay Wilder. And Anthony Joshua's situation from jump. Sky Sports. They, they, they put on. Deontay Wilder versus Bermain Stavern. They put on. Deontay Wilder versus Luis Ortiz. And, and now, all of a sudden... 
they, they missed out on Deontay Wilder's potential next fight if it's going to be Tyson Fury. Right? So that that's one knock. And, and, and Sky Sports, Eddie Hearn, you know, that's that's like his go-to network. So, I mean, they, 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 they might have credentials to the fight, but they're not going to be cover covered the same way they normally cover the fights. BT Sport will be out there doing it. They're going to have their own pay-per-view in the UK. Who knows what kind of numbers that's going to do in the UK, guys. Who knows what kind of numbers that's going to do in the UK. Tyson Fury returning. He's going to have his second tune-up against Pianetta. Right? It's a tune-up fight. Tyson Fury needs some fucking tune-up fights because he can't just come back two years off a fucking couch and, and, and fight a legitimate heavyweight champion. Oh, uh, unless you're Anthony Joshua, right? Because I'm pretty sure Joshua called out Fury for a fight. Didn't he? Anyways. Anyways. Fury fought... Uh, is going to fight Pianetta in Ireland. And you know, that's, that's the worst part of this whole hypocrisy. That's the worst part about it. If Anthony Joshua wanted to fight Tyson Fury, he might, he, he might not even give him a tune. He might give him one tune-up and say, okay, let's go. Let's get it. And they might try and make the fight ASAP. Knowing AJ, or they might may, may try to bring Tyson Fury over to Wembley for April. Right? Who, and who, know, who knows if Eddie Hurt might try and you know, put something like that out there in the media. Who knows if he would? I, I think, I think, I think there's nothing Eddie Hearn. I, 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 you know, I'll put it this way. This Eddie Hearn, he's got, he's got some real deep. I don't want to say hatred, but he, he doesn't want to see Deontay Wilder raise his own profile. Even more than it already is. He doesn't want to see that stock increase. Because then. Guess what's going to happen. If he's making the offers. If he's trying to secure. Wilder versus Anthony Joshua on the zone. That's his only That's his only intention. With the whole Deontay Wilder fight. Is to secure. Wilder Joshua on. These nuts. That streaming shit he's got going for himself. Or you know whatever. That, that streaming company that's paying Eddie Hearn. All, all this other money to try and compete with HBO and Showtime and and basically, you know, try and create their own fucking network. That's what he's trying to do. So how does that fit into the whole scenario? Well, Eddie Hearn is going to lose his opportunity to put on a Anthony Joshua versus Tyson Fury, isn't he? He's going to lose... He's going to lose out if Tyson Fury done already lost to Deontay Wilder. Remember, it's still a relatively young, undefeated champion in Tyson Fury. And Eddie Hearn does not want Tyson Fury to take that loss because all roads are going to lead to Wilder if that is the way it pans out. All roads will end up leading to Deontay Wilder and potentially a fight in the, a fight in the U United States of America for the undisputed, for the undisputed heavyweight championship of the world because there's a guy out there walking around with all of Tyson Fury's belts. So uh, I, I'm just gonna call him Anthony Hearn from now on. I don't know. He's fucking. He, as far as I'm concerned, he's part of that Eddie Hearn family. It's Eddie, Barry, and Anthony. They're all fucking Hearns. They're all Hearns now, man. I don't know who Anthony Joshua was. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who Anthony Joshua is. I, I don't know because right now he's just a hoe dancing around in his training, trying to fight this Russian midget out there named Alex. And and, and that guy might knock out Anthony Hearn. He might do it. He might knock out Anthony Hearn. But, but you never know, right? You never know. Anthony Joshua, he might beat up on Pavekin. Uh, little guy. Little guy Pavekin. And it just is what it is. It is what it is at the end of the day. I mean, Wilder has found a, a superior option to what Anthony Joshua's 
team has, has forced them into doing, fighting Alexander Povetkin. And for Deontay Wilder, the sky's the limit if you can beat Tyson Fury. It makes himself the A-side in, in every scenario. And, and you UK fans, you all know it. The Wilder haters, you all know it. If this fight is for real, and, 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 and for every action, you guys have that opposite reaction. So if this fight does get made, watch you all hate on the fight. Meanwhile, Anthony Joshua's biggest win is a 41-year-old Vladimir Klitschko. 41-year-old Vladimir Klitschko. That got up off his couch. Got up off his couch with two-year layoff, no tune-up fights to fight Anthony Joshua, and they decide to retire. What a signature victory. You know, as far as I'm concerned, Vladimir Klitschko done lost to Ross Purity. He done lost to fucking Lehman Brewster. He done lost to... Um, who else, who else Vladimir Klitschko lost to, man? He's got those two losses and that's it. Ah, he lost to Corey Sanders. That's the other one. He lost to Corey Sanders in a second round knockout. <laughs> so why don't you look up those records? Those records. Look at Ross Purity. Look at Corey Sanders. Then look at Anthony Joshua, okay? Now, now, you know, you're going to have to wait a bit, but Anthony Joshua, I'm not sure if he's better than Corey Sanders, and I'm not sure if he's better than Ross Purity. He's a good fighter. But he ain't no heavyweight champion if he ain't trying to fight Deontay Wilder or Tyson Fury. And that's just the facts, man. That's fact of the matter. He can't fight news. I'm telling you, Eddie Hearn, he, he's a greedy motherfucker. He wants to, he wants everyone to wait on Joshua, and it's just not going down like that. I think that's really why this fight's happening. Because he's really uh, made a mockery of the sport. He, he's... He, he's he's tried to you know you know what Eddie Hearn's good at he's good at name calling that's what he's good at he called oh Pizzanetta oh yeah oh uh, Shirley Winkle yeah he's good at he's good at being a kid you know and name calling because because when he doesn't get his way well when he's not serious he's just gonna act like a child so Eddie Hearn he he, he missed out he missed out and Wilder's moving on. Tyson Fury wants to fight the most dangerous man on the planet. And it, it's on, man. It's, it's about to be on. I believe it's about to be on. I don't think it's some kind of a hoax. I know people think, you know, that Wilder haters out there think it's a hoax. They think, oh, they're just trying to, you know, why would Wilder want to hype up Fury if there's no, uh, you know, he wouldn't put in that energy if he didn't know. That there's something that's gonna come out of it. So he can't fight news. I don't think it's I don't think there's there's any kind of hoax about it. And I hope that I hope all parties are serious about making this fight happen because it's a great fight. It's a fight that both fighters deserve a lot of credit for taking. And that's just is what it is, man. I gotta fucking smack these dogs up here. He can't fight news, man. We're out.